OHCK. How's it going, everybody? It is so good to be here with you guys. And look, we have somebody new. See, I'm not Allie, as you might have guessed. Uh, you know, I, I almost thought you were Allie, and then I had to do a double glance. And then I realized, oh my gosh, it's... It's Kyle! Kyle Fisher. He's here with us today. So it's so good that you're here with us. Thank you for being on the show. So excited to be here. I do miss Allie, though. I know. I miss her, too. She's such a good friend, but she'll probably be here with us next week. Pumped. That's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. So the first thing that we're going to do, we have our friend Case Ward, uh -oh. and he is going to say Psalm 23 for us. So hit it, Case. Let's hear it, man. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod, your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me. In the presence of my enemies, you anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will flow all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Okay, that was actually incredible, Case. That was so good. Do you think so, Kyle? Yeah, it was great. Oh my goodness, it was awesome. So the second thing we're gonna do, get our blood pumping, get us moving, is our songs. Push-ups, oh, songs, okay. Not, not push-ups, yeah. yeah, yeah. Can we do push-ups and sing? Um, maybe you could try to, Case? No, let's not try that. No, no, let's, let's just stand up and do it. Okay, let's go. All right. Let's do our songs. You guys stomp your feet like that, and let's clap together. That's it. Keep it going. Let's sing this little light of mine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. All right, keep clapping now. Sounds good. Huh. Everywhere I go, everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Yes, everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Sounds so good. That's called clapping on the back feet. All right, sing this real quiet with me now. Even when I'm afraid, I'm gonna let it shine. Even when I'm afraid, I'm gonna let it shine. Yes, even when I'm afraid, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine.
eyes upon the God who gives Cause all I need is what I have in Him That's why my hope is in My hope is in the Lord My hope is in the Lord Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. It was good. Oh I love singing to Jesus. Oh my gosh, me too. And our blood is pumping. It's going through our, our body. And so I have a game for us. And it's going to actually be so... My blood is pumping. It's pumping. I pump you up. <laughs> Kyle, don't I don't know my up. own power. Yeah, you don't know your own power. <laughs> Anyway, so what, what were we gonna do? Sorry, man. No, man's. you're you're totally fine. Keep keeping on track. Keeping okay, on track. Okay. So what we're going to do? We're going to play charades. 
Mm. Have you ever played charades before? Uh, it sounds like a French game. It's I don't I don't know if it's a French game. But charade. Ch- charade. I, I don't know. Bon appetit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so what you're gonna do is you're going to take this card and you're going to read what's on the card, but you're not going to use your words and you're going to just act it out. And I'm going to guess. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Go. Ready? Yeah. One. One. One word. Tennis. Volleyball. Volleyball. You yes! got it. Woo! That's one for Maddie. Okay. My turn. One. The number one. One word. Baking a cake. Baking a wedding cake. Oh my gosh, Kyle, it's an airplane. <laughs> oh, that's my second guess. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, so you're, you're up, yeah, Y1. Yeah, yeah. Here we uh-huh. go. Let's okay. try again. The word is upside down. Don't use your words, Kyle. Here we go. One word. Painting. You got it. Got it. Woo! Okay. My turn. It's not wedding cake. It's not wedding cake. It's not wedding cake. Hmm. Two words. Getting dressed. Yes! You got it! Okay, okay. One more round. One more round, okay? Here we go. Yeah. Again, it is upside down. One word. Cell phone. Texting. Texting. Woo! Now, I bet all of you guys text, right? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe you don't have cell phones. Two numeral words. Pooping. <laughs> pooping. I, I recognize that pooping face. Toilet paper. Yes, you got Toilet it. Toilet paper. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> Your wife. I got. Those. I got to say pooping. <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> I, I said pooping on a Sunday morning. Oh my goodness. Like, is that is that wrong? Is it, it okay? Is it okay if I say pooping? It might be wrong. Okay. <laughs> but anyway. Okay. So Kyle. It's fluffing. What? Fluffing is a better word, right? Fluffing. It's, I don't. Like, I don't know. What every, everybody poops. It's fine. Everybody poops. Everybody poops. Oh my gosh, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so about that game. Yes. So, what could you not use in that game? Uh, I wanted to make sounds. I wanted to use words so bad. You wanted to use words so bad. And that actually reminds me of a story in the Bible that we're going to be talking about today. What story? Uh, well, it's about Zechariah. And Ooh. it's at the very beginning of the New Testament, even before Jesus was born. So it's like Zachariah, the weed little man? No, no, that's Zacchaeus. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, no. Zachariah, he was actually the uncle of Jesus. And so, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And so Zachariah, he, he's like this guy. He loved God so much. And his wife, oh my gosh, Elizabeth, she loved God so much. And But they wanted to have a baby. And so they prayed, please, God, let us have a baby. So finally, Zachariah. Zach- Zachariah? Zachariah, yeah, say yeah. Zacchaeus. Zachariah, he went to the temple to worship God, mm-hmm. and then an angel just, just out of nowhere came out, and he said, Zachariah. What's up? I don't know if that's No, right. that's probably yeah, that's probably right. <laughs> but yeah, he was like, what's up? <laughs> what's up, Zachariah? Well, yeah, yeah. What's up, Zachariah? And he said, "Oh my goodness! Like, I am your servant, God. What? What is it?" And he said, "You're going to have a baby, a baby, a baby. He's going to have a baby." And he he kind of laughed and he said, "How can I have a baby? My wife, me and my wife are so old, and and we haven't had a baby yet. And so, why so don't that would be like my grandparents having a baby, right?" Yeah. And Man, that, that that's kind of weird to think about. It'd be kind of weird. It'd be think kinda... about think about your grandparents and your grandparents having a baby. That 
It's just crazy. Mind blown. Mind blown. I, I, I can't, yeah. I can't even comprehend it. And so, you so know. What happened? Why don't you watch the story? Oh, I love watching and, stories. And figure it out. So here's the story. Let's do it. Zechariah and his wife, mm-hmm. Elizabeth, were old and had no children. They lived outside of Jerusalem in the hill country and did what was right. Zechariah was a priest, and at that time, King Herod ruled over Judea. Twice a year, Zechariah went to the temple in Jerusalem to carry out his duties as a priest. Many priests served in the temple. One day, Zechariah was chosen to go into the sanctuary of the Lord and burn incense. People gathered outside to pray, and Zechariah went inside the sanctuary. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared. Zechariah was terrified. Do not be afraid, Zechariah, the angel said. God heard your prayer. Your wife will have a son, and you will name him John. His birth will bring you joy. God will be with him. The Holy Spirit will fill him even before he is born. The angel said that John would help many people turn back to God. John would go ahead of the Lord and get people ready for his coming. Zechariah asked the angel, How can I know this will happen? I'm old and my wife is old. The angel said, God sent me to tell you this good news because you did not believe my words. You won't be able to speak until these things happen. Zechariah left the temple. The people outside realized he had seen a vision and could not talk. When he was done serving in Jerusalem, Zechariah went home to Elizabeth. In time, she became pregnant and gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives rejoiced. Zechariah and Elizabeth named their son John. Suddenly, Zechariah could speak again. He began praising God. The people who lived nearby could tell that God was with John. The Holy Spirit filled John. Zechariah praised God and told the people God's words. God has come to help his people. He will save us through David's family. He will rescue us from our enemies. Then he spoke to John, and you will be called a prophet of the Most High. You will go before the Lord to prepare the way for him. The time had come. God was going to bring his light into the darkness of the world. Peace was coming for God's people. John grew up and lived in the wilderness until God called him to get the people ready for Jesus. When Zechariah believed God's word, he praised God. John was born to prepare the way for Jesus. John would point people to Jesus, and they would praise God for keeping his promise to send the Savior. Just kidding, you're not muted. (laughs) Kyle, Kyle, come back oh, to us. Oh, yes, yes. Hello. <laughs> okay, okay. The, yeah. You hit the unmute button. I hit I the unmute that. button. And guess what? God hit the unmute button for Zachary. That was so cool. Oh, my gosh. That was amazing that, that God said, okay, you're going to be able to talk again. I got to tell you, though, the whole time that we were sitting there watching that video, I was thinking, dude, Zachariah must be really good at charades by now. <laughs> you know, I, I feel like, like that's the guy I want on my team all the time. And... Wow. Yeah, it's like Elizabeth is like, what do you want for dinner, honey? And he's and like, he's like <laughs> oh, a hamburger. Yeah. He's like, no, 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 that's not we it. didn't have hamburgers back then. <laughs> no. Enchiladas. No, not enchiladas either, <laughs> Kyle. Get your history right. I know. Anyway, so it's fine. But it was an amazing story. And the main big picture is... question is jesus god or human now how does that apply to the story kyle man i know the answer yeah the answer is yes (laughs) 
Absolutely. It is, <laughs> yes, he is the son of God, and Jesus is both fully God and fully human. And so that's kind of mind-blowing, but the reason is Jesus came to take away our sins. And so what's crazy is John the Baptist later the baby John he was filled with the Holy Spirit to later tell the truth about who Jesus was his cousin so Jesus and John were cousins and so it's crazy that everything in the Bible is pointing back to who Kyle it's all pointing to Jesus Jesus that's exactly right so it's amazing so we're going to um, go ahead and um, take your quiz that's what we're yeah, gonna do. Yeah, yeah. I used to hate quizzes back in school, but I'm telling you what, these quizzes are really fun. Why are they fun, Kyle? It's like you, you have multiple choice. You can just click on the answer and you don't even have to pick up a pencil and write it out. That's right, that's right. And there's no, um, like if you get it wrong, then you get like a failing grade or anything. You do your best. It's like your friends aren't around, so they're not gonna laugh at you I if you know. get it wrong. And your teacher's not gonna look at you and roll your eyes and go, oh, Kyle. Are yes. you serious, Kyle? Yeah, yeah. Because I had sure. teachers do that. For sure. I did too. It's not fun. But no judgment at all. So you take your quiz and you get what, Kyle? Harbor Bucks. Harbor Bucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So it's going to be awesome. So we hope to see you guys next week and have a great week. See y'all. Bye. Bye. Wait! <laughs> Don't forget to do your questions about it because you get some Harbor Bucks. Harbor Bucks.